And this is Miss Chaz coming to you on Voluptuous TV. I have with me a very, very special guest this evening. And he goes by the name of Slow Down. Yes. How you guys doing today? Yay. How you feeling? <laughs> How are you doing? I'm going to give you a hug. Sorry about that. How are My you? I maintaining. maintaining getting it in, you know. Never stopping, running on fumes right now. I see. Mm -hmm. So there's been a lot of talk out there in the internet world. Yeah, rumors and talk. Rumors <laughs> and talk about you and Nelly and being dismissed from the St. Lunatics. Before you even get you into that, that. You made that sound nice. I made it sound nice? Yeah, I almost like being dismissed. Or you made it sound like you was dismissed. Okay, so we're it, kicked it out. It didn't sound bad that way. Kicked out of the group. I don't even know what. It, it, uh, um, kicked out is even a better sound. And I'm, I'm going to say uh, exiled. <laughs> Wow. I'm going to use exile. Now, that's oh, a deep word. That's, that's, a deep that's word. almost like being banned. Yeah. Banished yeah, from I'm, a group. I, I rather, I, those sound like more what happened to me. Wow. Well, before we even elaborate on that, I'd like to know, how did you begin with the St. Lunatics? Uh, the beginning. I met the guys in the, in the barbershop. Uh, started off as a fan of Ali's. Mm -hmm. um, Try to figure out try to figure out how I could um, <clears throat> try to figure out how I can get in this camp that he had going on and um, he was explaining to me that it was like five rappers he was one of them uh, a couple of managers they had a um, had a couple of dancers so that was actually my first uh, job with the guys um, even though I had no desire to rap mm -hmm. so with you having no desire to rap how did you become the hype man of the group. Because it's, it's, it's a lot of roles to play in uh, mm -hmm. hip hop. I mean, if you think it's just rap, you know what I'm saying? If you think it's just rap to get to the top, you you ain't going to make it. I'm sorry. I'm going to limb and say you're not going to make it if you think it's just rap. Mm -hmm. That's going to get you to the top. Uh, so I knew it was different roles to play. But I, at that time, that wasn't what was on my mind. On my mind was I just wanted to get in that camp. It wasn't about you know what I'm saying? They weren't performing this and that. They were just the lunatics. They probably had shows before I met them, though, like talent shows or whatnot. But you just wanted to be included. Yeah, I wanted to be in that camp, that mm -hmm. organization. But mm -hmm. I wanted to, I wanted a major role in that camp because I'm like, when I heard, when I did eventually meet everybody, I could meet everybody individually. When I did meet everybody, I'm like, Nah, Ali, yeah, yeah, cool, yeah, I got some. I'm, I'm almost certain that, yeah, I can get a deal. So I try to figure out how to get on stage or the court at the same time. They don't, I might not get paid the same way, but I still get paid, supposedly. But I still get paid. Um, but I still get the same shine. I might not get the same check, but I get the same shine. I never wanted to get, I mean, well, I, as a human being, I want a lot of money. But I knew the role I played. I never wanted millions. You know, I'm lying again. I did want millions. <laughs> but I, I, mean, I ain't trying to get like... I ain't trying to make a million dollars today off of you because I know my role. If y'all made a million dollar check, this and that, I ain't expecting a million dollar check. I'm just expecting my little piece, though. Mm -hmm. my, uh, you know what I'm saying? If Nelly a thousand, a millionaire, I would like to be known as a, I, well, not like, I like to be known as a millionaire also. If you're a multi-millionaire, this and that, be known as a millionaire, but I was more so known as a thousandaire. Okay. <laughs> but no, I'm just, I'm just playing. <laughs> but uh, no. Um, but okay, since you're talking about money, Mm -hmm. and getting paid for your services that you had agreed to and you pointed out you never wanted to rap mm -hmm. that was not your thing you were more the entertainer of the group mm -hmm. why do you feel you were underpaid or unnoticed relative to and I wasn't I wasn't, I wasn't unnoticed I guess when it's time mm -hmm. to spend the money I was unnoticed right. You know Relative to the finances, the, the it was a time that it, it was a it was a time that I didn't care about the money. Well, I did. Mm -hmm. I was always cared about the money, but it was a time that I didn't question the money because I was on salary. Um, so I didn't feel I didn't really I didn't want the salary, mm -hmm. but I made the best of it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so you weren't agreeable to the salary. I wasn't agreeable to the salary. It was more so like. So why did you sign? Not I didn't sign anything. Okay. It was a handshake. Okay. You know what oh, I'm saying? Okay. Okay. I signed to the salary. It was a small amount, but I signed to it because I was never asked either, though. But nobody, it was pretty much like, okay, you're going to get this amount every month mm -hmm. as long as we doing our thing. So, and I'm like, well, now we figure we'll pay you this certain amount 
uh, every month so that when it's a month that we're really not working, we know we feel comfortable that you're still eating. Versus if you would just pay me every time I hit the show, hit the stage, because that, that's what I wanted. I wanted to get paid when we hit the stage. I don't want to get into your royalties. I don't want to get into your advancements. I'm a grown man. I can do my thing. Mm -hmm. Just pay me now that we're making money, because if we never got a deal, I'd still be doing this for free. Or better yet, what I've been doing, help paying other people bills and cutting people hair free and this now, I would have kept doing that. But we got a deal, and we're the biggest in the world. Mm -hmm. And... I'm not even opting out for a smaller salary. I'm being told this is what we're doing for you, also because it's a tax write-off for an old boy. But at the same time, old boy. Nelly, okay. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> or lunatics, however you want to, however the payments was coming. Mm -hmm. I don't want to disclaim it. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I guess mm -hmm. it was coming from lunatics. But I was set up, it was supposed to be a tax write-off. I'm like, I mean, I don't like being a pawn and your money. Uh, Management. Three quarter Molly. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're mm -hmm. trying to juggle your stuff and mm -hmm. for your tax purposes. They stopped giving me that salary in 05. You feel what I'm saying? And it's 2010 right now. So that salary stopped in 05. And I was told I was going to get that salary as long as we're doing our thing. So we really not stopped doing our thing as long as we putting our albums as mm -hmm. Nelly and Lunatics or Nelly. You know what I'm saying? So we really ain't stopped. So that salary I got, I should have kept getting it like agreed. Even when you take a hiatus, and I don't know about it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I book the shows, or this or that, you know what I'm saying? So, nah, so when I say I should get paid, I didn't get paid fairly. I mean, like, because I don't know what I should have got paid. Mm -hmm. I don't, I know, I know how much I shouldn't get paid, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how much more I should get paid, but I do feel, honestly, I can give you a number, like, what I think I should have got, like. What, what do you think you should have got? Seven hundred and fifty to a thousand dollars every Her time show? I hit the stage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was a time that when I was off salary, which is only probably like five times total, that I got twenty five hundred. Like I'm off salary three years later. I mean, like two years later, I'm off salary. Well, like a year and a half off, off uh, after oh five, I'm off salary two hundred and fifty twenty five hundred a show. I, I mean, it wasn't told that I was gonna get this, but I know. I did three shows, and then we come home, I get a check for 7500 I get to break it down, like, hey, that means I got 7500 a show? Mm -hmm. um, mm, I was getting 5000 a month when we was the biggest in the world. Mm -hmm. and I'm getting 2500 a show, and we can't sell a record right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I, didn't, I, I, didn't, I didn't see the just behind that at all. You know what I'm saying? Like, how can you afford to give me 2500 right now when we was the hottest cats in the world Six years ago, and now I'm getting twenty five hundred right now. We not selling so in, any records. So in other words, you got a reduction in salary. Nah, I got a, a jump up, but cats weren't taking shows though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When you start getting big checks from here, there, there, and there, and there, I guess you take your. I mean, what got you your money? You, I guess you put that on the back burner for a second. So, dude took a break. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know about it until after we was already in the break. You know what I'm saying? Like, imagine we take a break and I find out 15 minutes later, like, what's going on? Mm -hmm. Oh, we ain't got no shows for another such as I'm like. And that's why I said a reduction because were the St. Lunatics performing a lot at that time? Because honestly, we went from speaking, performing maybe six to 21 times a month to an instant halt. Mm 